All right, guys, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do today is we are going to practice punctuating dialogue. Now, um, the reason I'm going over this is because a lot of times when I have you guys punctuate dialogue, it's not done quite right. So we're going to practice this or I'm going to show you how to do this and you guys are going to practice this. Right. So I have my handy dandy little chart here it says three ways to punctuate dialogue. And because I'm cool, I use the numbers instead of the words. You see that? Ha, 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 ha. All right. So let's look at the first way to punctuate dialogue, right? So the first way is to have the dialogue tag in the front. Right? And what that means is the he said, she said, Mark said, Jack said, all that information is going to be at the front of the sentence, right? So let's look at an example. Jack screamed, run home, exclamation point, right? And so you notice that my dialogue tag, Jack screamed, is at the front of the sentence, right? And separating the dialogue tag from the, what he said, we have a comma, and then we have our opening quotation marks, and then our end quotation marks, right? And notice you have your end punctuation just like normal since the since it's actually the end of the sentence. Okay. So that's probably the easiest and simplest way to write uh, dialogue, right? If you have the dialogue tag at front, then you have your quotation marks at the end. Nothing really changes. You separate your dialogue from your dialogue tag with that comma, right? That goes right next to the action now you can say scream jack or jack screamed it doesn't really matter which way you put it okay second one that we're going to talk about that's pretty simple is the dialogue tag at the end right and so this one is kind of the same but there's a little bit of a difference right and i'll show you guys what i mean right so i am going home right uh said michael now this is how it should look if it's just a statement notice that we have our opening quotation marks at the beginning we have our sentence now since this is a statement normally normally you would have a period at the end of what he said but surprise it's not the end of the sentence so instead of using a period we're going to use a comma Right, and that's going to separate our dialogue from our dialogue tag, just like we had up here. And then we have our end quotation marks. And then at the end of the sentence, the real end, which is after the dialogue tag, we're going to put our period. Okay. We have another one here. It says, Do I need to run? Ask Michael, because you know Jack up here says run. Right. So. Mike's like, Michael's like, do I really need to run? Is this really what I need to do? Right, so he's asking a question. And so we have our opening quotation mark, we have our sentence, and then you'll notice that because he's asking a question, we don't have a comma, we have an actual question mark, right? And so that's where having the dialogue tag at the end is different from at the having the dialogue tag at the beginning. Instead of just having all your end punctuation uh, being commas, right? Uh, it's only a comma if you're using a period. If you use an exclamation mark or a uh, question mark, you're going to use the actual um, actual end punctuation. You'll have your end quotation mark like normal. You're going to have your um, your dialogue tag here asked Michael, and since the end of the sentence is after Michael, you're going to have your period right here. Okay. And so that's how to do dialogue tag at the end. Now, the only other one, right, the third one, that's not very used very often, but you can use it, but it's absolutely not necessary if you'd ever use it, right, is to put the dialogue tag in the middle. Ooh, right. So dialogue tag in the middle. Run, pleaded Jack, please, right? So in this case, it's pretty simple. You have your run, which is a simple sentence, 
you have your quote uh, your exclamation point. Now, if it was just a run, right, we would have a comma here. But since he's telling him to run, like screaming at him, right, we have run, pleaded Jack. Now, this is all one sentence, right? So run, pleaded Jack is one sentence. That's why we have our period here. And then we have he's saying, saying another sentence, which is please, right? So we have two separate sentences, right? And that's why we have the period here. Now, let's say I'm going to break up a compound or complex sentence uh, with that dialogue tag in the middle, right? And so that's what this is going to look like. If you don't, there's my subordinate conjunction. Oh, subordinate conjunction. I know that because of the word if. So if you don't, Right, and so there's my comma, right? Because this is the end of my uh, my first conjunction, right? I have my open quotations, my end quotations. Said Jack, right? So this is a comma breaking it up from this. Now I have another comma because I'm continuing the sentence. I'm not stopping the sentence. I'm continuing the sentence. If you don't, said Jack, comma, open quotation because I'm going to continue the conversation here. They'll catch you, end punctuation, period, and quotation marks, right? So if I'm going to break up a real sentence, right? So both parts of the dialogue are actually really just part of one sentence, then I'm going to use the comma here to break off the first part, uh, separate it from my dialogue tag, put another comma separating my dialogue tag from the rest. On the other hand, if I'm doing this, run, pleaded Jack, period, please. Now, some of you guys may be asking, but Mr. O'Neill, couldn't you really just flip that and say run and then capitalize pleaded? So I, it would be a completely separate sense. Pleaded Jack, please, right? Yes, actually, I could do that, right? And so that would be another way of doing it. Really, if you're going to have two different se sentences separated by your dialogue tag like this, what you really want to do is decide which part goes with the dialogue tag. In fact, it might actually make more sense for me to do pleaded Jack, please, right? That actually might make more sense, right? And so those are the three ways to punctuate dialogue, right? Um, I'm going to include this in today's lesson so you guys can uh, work on this. There is going to be a quiz that goes with it just to see how well you understand dialogue. All right. So there you go. Three ways to punctuate dialogue. Have a good day, everyone.